Well, I sure hope that you guys enjoyed that little cleaning montage. I certainly had a lot of fun filming and editing that together. If you missed part one, check the links below. If you missed part three, don't worry about it. That hasn't been filmed yet, but I assure you by the time you're watching this video, part three was filmed, part three was edited, and part three is going to be released very, very soon. For the people that I haven't met yet, my name is Tom and I make videos. Quick disclaimer, this is not a motorcycle specific channel. I do have quite a bit of videos around motorcycles. Also, this is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial explaining all about how a motorcycle runs, how the wiring goes and all that other sort of stuff. This is more or less meant to document me getting this bike going. This bike has tons of sentimental value to me. The goal for today is going to be to get in into this wiring harness. This ultimately is why I've been procrastinating with this. So with that being said, let's get right into it. I'd say let's ride, but let's wire. Yeah, let's wire. I've been at this for like the last hour and a half. Um, my sort of course of action is with this pretty clean uh, wiring harness is to temporarily hook everything back up just to see if I can kind of remember where everything goes. If not, I have the wiring diagram, so that's cool. I'm only slightly discouraged. That's just because I have a feeling this isn't gonna be as easy as I thought it would be. But I don't know why I keep thinking everything's gonna be like super easy. Oh cool, I do have some crap on my lens. Anyway, let me show you what I got so far. Everything's hooked back up here, so that's cool. That wiring harness is relatively loose. I kept some of it together. Just, I wanna sort of hook everything back up and figure out what I don't wanna use anymore. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this progress. This is still the nightmare area. We got a little engine cover. Oh yeah. A little stator behind that, but I gotta wire all these in. And I'm missing a factory plug because it got burned up. There's the fuse box, starter relay, igniter, battery, just sort of a placeholder. Do with the Okay, so that concludes part two. I gotta cut this off here. I find that these are a little bit more digestible in the five to six minute time length, whereas YouTube likes to push videos that are 10 minutes or longer. I got bored by this video after like eight minutes, so I will spare you. Part three is coming out very soon. Part four, shortly thereafter. There's a good chance that by the time you're watching this, it's already been released. Quick recap in this part, I disassembled the wiring harness, re-familiarized, reacquainted myself with this wiring harness, cleaned it and put it back in without taping it up and without really finding where everything needs to go because I kind of forget it's been February. We're in August at this point. Can I go ahead and call that good yet? <sighs> One more time. 
so that's cool. Um, also, it's funny to me how like certain wires come comes you know certain wires will start and then like literally the line disappears. So it's like I don't know what to do. Do I just sort of make it up? I don't understand it. 